Well, g'day everybody and welcome back to episode number two of U-Boat. In the uh, previous episode, we had sunk a ship over here. Now, there is a wreckage there and we could go and salvage the wreckage, but uh, I don't think we're going to do that at this particular point in time. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue on to our... Um, Oh, no, 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 don't do that, don't do that, oh, you idiot. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue on to our uh, point over here, it's the North Atlantic, and uh, to do our, we might go there, there, to do our little patrol there, so I think that's, uh, I think that's where we will go, we will go into fast travel mode. Okay, so we'll send a report off. Now that we're in our patrol sector, we'll send a report off for that. Let's get out of this. There we go. And what we might do is... Uh, now that we're in our patrol sector, we've got 2,000 kilometres to do inside here. So I thought maybe maybe a little bit of a zigzag pattern would probably be the, uh, be the way to go. That's our marked area. So what we might do now is uh, we might actually drop to periscope depth. periscope depth. And we shall turn the uh, gyro compressor off. Let's get, uh, well, who's going to do that? I might get Papa to go and turn the gyroscope off. Uh, and I might also get him to... Can we, can we, can we, can we, can we get the lights? Can we get the lights? There's the light switch. I might get him to change the light switch to blue, I think. Come on, come on, pup again. There we go, good boy. And turn this off. There we go. Uh, we will also get uh, rail to go into the listening room. With his fellas, he doesn't need to be on the radio anymore. Uh, engines working on our ship decrease detection range by 20%. Our ship has to submerge to use the hydrophone. We we are done. We are done there. Captain Simmy's just having a, a little bit of a relax, as you can see. Just chilling out, reading the newspaper. Now, the idea is um, that what you, what you should be doing is you should be dropping below the surface and uh and and moving through the uh moving through your there we go let's get that there all right and moving through uh moving through your patrol area in in this way basically so so uh you you sort of go into a little bit of um you just keep people who aren't necessarily who don't necessarily need to be working at a particular point in time you sort of keep them having their uh, you have the having their R and R. When you've got the blue lights on, then everybody um, sort of tries to maintain some some type of um, uh, quietness. Like in regards to what they're doing, everybody tries to be a little bit more quiet. So it kind of lets everybody know that uh, that you're doing that. You turn the gyro gyro compass off because the gyro compass actually interferes with um, interferes with uh, what these guys are actually hearing. All right, so we're just going um, decks a wash, just to recharge our batteries a little bit. We were running relatively low on batteries, so. All right, Cap. What you need to do is you need to get out here. Everybody's getting out here anyway. I don't think Cap's getting out here, but you need to get out there as well. Uh, let's see, we probably should take the German flag down, actually, before we do anything else. Just so that it's not spottable and hopefully to confuse the enemy a little bit, so. Where are you, Cap? Cap's coming up, there he is. Beautiful. Perfect. Take this flag down. Bright red as well. My goodness. All right, sweet. Okay, we do have a ship down there. Uh, let's go out of that mode. Let's go out of that mode. Whereabouts was that? I reckon it was over here somewhere. Aha, uh -huh. all right. Got a transport group coming through here, so what we want to do is come through here. 
We want to go to... Where are we? Let's, uh... Let's... Let's drop to periscope depth. All right. Uh, we want to track that. Okay, so we're kind of in their range anyway, so we do need to be really, really careful. Uh, what we will do is we will get rail back on here, back into here. He's sleeping. He will not. There he is. Come on, come on, come on. Excellent. And let's move around and see what we've got. Okay, somebody, there is a little bit of morale s stuff happening there, which doesn't sound very, very good. Let's see if we can uh, maybe zoom this in a little bit to six times. Not seeing anything at this particular point in time. Aha, right there. Okay, for some reason, rail is, is the only one that's not selectable. <laughs> it's the only one that's not selectable. Vessels detected. Beautiful. It is a freighter. It is an English transport by the looks of it. So, all right. So we need to do our, we need to do our calculations now. Don't do that, you idiot. You're supposed to be up here. We've got a bloody... Get up here. Oh, you, you are crapping me. Really? They're all sleeping. Come here. Get up there. Get up there straight away. Run. Run. You want to start targeting this fella. There he is right there. Let's uh, work out what speed he's going. Uh, let's work out the course that he's going. He's heading... He's heading sort of across that way isn't he so we'll set that we will also set the chronometer tool let's start now we'll get a measurement of his an approximate measurement of his speed he's about 1.3 kilometers away once he gets past that uh once the uh the stern of his ship gets past there we will turn this off and that'll give us an idea of how fast he's going I reckon it's about there. Uh, I reckon he is going to about 12 kilometers an hour. All right, no worries. Um, what else do we have? We've got some identification here, but this is, I, I always find this very, very hard. Uh, the Empire Tower. Uh, it's got two got that in there it's got one of those I reckon it's Empire Explorer I reckon that's what it is all right no worries all right so what we want to do now is uh, we want to go out of here and we want these guys to start targeting this guy so let's go back into the map which is there oh there's another one there as well he still won't move i don't know whether that's a bug or not leave position thank you very much okay over here and get through excuse me sir and let's get aye him aye in aye here sir. all right beautiful so we managed to get him in there Next thing we want to do is we want to be able to target this transporter. Oh, I think we should probably target that one first. Calculate torpedo course. Okay, beautiful. I'm actually having a little bit of trouble trying to uh, trying to do all of our calculations and stuff. It it seems to have changed a bit for some reason. So I'm gonna. They're calculating this. They're at four percent at the moment. Don't know what they were on that freighter, but uh, I think we want to take this out. The SS Sirius. I don't know whether that's a uh, whether that's a, has uh, weapons on board or not. So 
we used to be able to get a reading. We used to be able to get a reading of uh, of all the... Cal ah, there we go. Now we're starting to... All right. It's, uh, for some reason, I just couldn't get that out. So what do we got here? Opening target stations list. Uh, center camera. Plot and intercept course. Let's go on to there. There we go. Now, now they're both calculating. So that should be a little bit better. So I think we're going to try and take him out first. Then we're going to shoot a couple at him as well. So we'll launch a couple at this guy. Then we'll launch a couple at this guy afterwards. So, which we should be all right doing. All right, we're only at 9%. So I might uh, move in this direction. Faster, faster. And I might try and... I might try and keep a little bit. They should, they should still calculate while we're moving. Um, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn around there. I think we've got enough data to probably launch a torpedo. Or a couple of torpedoes. We're at 50%. I know you want to be higher than that. I know you want to be higher than that, but let's give it a go anyway, guys. Might see if we can. Might see if we can calculate. Uh, I think that might that might even hit that, mightn't it? It may even hit this instead. Which is going to be very, very interesting. Let's flood those tubes. I reckon that is going to hit that. Oh, it must be storming outside. Yeah, I reckon that's going to hit that by the looks of it. Let's go and have a look at this. Big storm out here. Yep, we hit him, we hit him, we hit him. Okay, okay, let's not, uh, let's go back to. Let's fire those two as well. We've hit this guy. We hit our, our, our torpedoes hit this guy. For some reason, I can't swap over to, to that boat. I want to swap over to that boat and see what's happening. All right, they're gone. They're gone. Uh, hopefully these make it past. Hopefully these guys sink. Let's have a look back on the map. No, we've missed. We have missed. Okay, are these guys still calculating? They are. We're at 54%. We should be able to... That torpedo is ready to launch. This one's preheating. I reckon we go for it. I reckon we go for it. Okay. So if we continue to move in that direction. Oh, that was such a waste of torpedoes, wasn't it? We will surface in a minute, guys. We just need to get these torpedoes happening. We're at seventy-three percent. Come on, keep calculating. Keep calculating. Seventy-four percent. The SS Cirrus has been sunk. Beautiful, two thousand four hundred. Excellent. So we'll radio that in as soon as we get the opportunity. Our air is absolutely horrible. Okay, we 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 need to we need to get up. We need to get up. There is some sailors that are suffering. Oh no, are you shitting me? Okay, so I've, 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 I've thrown the tanks. We've got uh, quite a few sailors in critical states. They're dying on board. All right, we are back up on the surface, so we should be getting some air. We should be getting some air now. Uh, these guys here, I think, uh, let's, uh, let's, let's head in this direction. Why not? Why not? 
We'll head in that direction. Let's see what we can do in regards to the uh, in regards to the sailors. Let's see if we can. Uh, where's our radio man? Where are you, radio man? Need to. Ah, oh, you need to sort these guys out. They're being sorted out. We need to get these. Do some first aid. Do some first aid. We're going to have a few crew members die here, I think, because I pushed it to the limits. I pushed it to the limits. Can you help these guys? No. Can you help these guys? No. Can Spurk help these guys? No. Nobody else can help them except for a radio man. Rail, there's people dying here, buddy. And you want to sleep. Seriously. Uh, there is a mod that actually allows you to um, stop that from happening. Come on, come on, come on. We don't even know whether or not that bloody ship has been sunk yet. While well, you're doing that, okay, go over here and do him. No, go over here and do him. First aid him as well, Rao. Beautiful. Uh, what's happened? Those, th they've missed. They've missed. That is an absolute massive failure, guys. Let's, uh, let's move elsewhere. Let's move elsewhere and sort out uh, what's going on here. Can't get to the guys at the back though for some reason. Maybe they're not uh, injured enough to need first aid. But uh, I think we managed to probably save everybody. There we go. Yeah, it looks like these guys can't be sorted, so. Okay, he's recovering. He is starting to recover as well. Let's keep this moving this way. And these guys through here, they're recovering as well. Yep, he's nearly fully recovered. Beautiful. Alright, so the next thing that we need to do before Rao goes to bed is we need to send off a radio transmission. Then we need to sort out. On duty. There we go. There we go. We'll send those. We'll send these radio signals off. Okay, you can you can keep doing that rail. Uh, you keep sending those radio signals off, and then I will give them. Um, there's two queued messages. There we go. Then I'll give them a, a little bit of time to uh, a little bit of time for R and R. All right, <laughs> that was seriously seriously lucky, guys. Uh, Spurk's going to need to. Uh, he's going to need to head down in a minute and. Uh, Did I have, uh, let, let's see if I can get, uh, well, who's going to do that? Is he going to do that? Ventilation on. Uh, let's turn the gyroscope on. And let's also turn on the, oh, how do we get to the lights? I think it might only be a, uh, a an officer that can do the lights, is it? Yes. Let's uh, do the light switch, Spurk. He'll run through and do that. Perfect. All right. Everything is happening. We don't need to uh, run the pump. All right, beautiful. These guys will continue to listen. We've sent those out. We've got some extra points there, which is pretty cool. We are currently moving at uh, at a normal pace. Let's uh, let's maybe drop that down. But uh, there you go, guys. <laughs> that is it. That is it for this episode. We've we sunk. What what did we sink? We sunk one ship, didn't we? I think we, yeah, we, I think we sunk one. What was that? Uh, missing, missing worker, what? I don't know, I missed that one. All right, so our compressor, yep. Our compressed air reserves are low, uh, making surface harder or even impossible. Turn on the, turn the compressor on. 
Yeah, okay, so we need to replenish our air. So we'll do that. Spurt can... Uh, might just get... I might get Farmer to run down and turn the compressed air on. Whereabouts is our... That's our ventilation. Uh, let's turn on the diesel compressor. And we'll boost our... Uh, we'll boost our O2 for the... Uh, for the next episode, but... That is it, guys. I am... <laughs> I am going to leave this episode here. My goodness, what an absolute nut of balls up that was. But we did manage to sink one ship, so... And I did manage to get the game happening again, so... Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I really do. Um, and if you have, hit like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, definitely subscribe to the channel. And uh, what's going on there? Radio Gibraltar and Radio La Rochelle. All right, and uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.